Uh, in this brief video, we're going to talk about uh, Valerius Flaccus. Now, Valerius Flaccus, when, uh, when Tiberius Nero died and Gaius Galliula took over control, um, yes, in 37 AD, uh, he started a program against the Jews of Egypt, Alexandria, and Egypt. And uh, soon afterwards, uh, Emperor Gaius Galliula sent a detachment under, under a commander called Vlasius, and Vlasius had um, Valerius Flaccus and his friends arrested, they were put on trial, and then they were sent to the Greek island of Andros, and then later he was executed and thrown into a pit. And, um, and, before, and before Valerius Flaccus was killed for what he had done, he, um, he turned his eyes to heaven and the stars, and beholding that unvariable word within a world, lifted up his voice. King of gods and men, he cried, so then thou dost not disregard the nation of the Jews, nor do they disreport thy providence. But all who say that did not find in thee a champion and defender, Go astray from the true creed. I am clear proof of this, for all the acts which I manly committed against the Jews I have suffered myself. I allowed them to be robbed of their possessions by giving free license to the plunderers, for that I have taken from me my heritage from my father uh, and mother, and all I received by way of benefactions and gifts and other possessions which do not fall under this head. Uh, I cast on them the slur that they were foreigners without civic rights, though they were inhabitants with full franchise just to please their adversaries. Uh, a disorderly and unstable horde whose flattery to my sorrow deceived me, and therefore I have lost my rights and been driven in exile from all the inhabitable world to be shut up here. That's the island of Andros. Some might march into the theatre and order them to be maltreated before the eyes of the bitterest enemies and justly and therefore justly was I maltreated in my miserable soul rather than in my body, uh, which the utmost uh, contumely. I was not indeed marched into one theatre or one city, but was paraded through all of Italy to Prindisium and through the, all the Peloponnese, the Corinth, past Attica and the islands of to Andros, my prison. And I have a clear conviction that this is not the limit of my misfortunes. But there are others in reserve to complete the sum and counterbalance all that I did. Uh, I killed some, and when others killed them, took no steps to punish the murderers. Some were stoned, some were still alive, were burnt and death, or dragged through the middle of the marketplace, uh, till nothing at all was left of their bodies. That their avenging furies awaited me, I know full well. Uh, the ministers of punishment are already, as it were, standing at the barriers and press forward, eager for my blood. Uh, every day, or rather every hour, I die in anticipation, suffer many deaths instead of the final one. Uh, he often became frightened and scared while the limbs and members of his body shivered and shuddered, his soul shaken with it. His pantings and palpitations quailed with dread. For one thing which is natural, capable of consuming human life, the comfort and hope he had lost. No favorable omen was, uh, was uh, vouch vouchsafed to him, only all the evil omens since the sounds and voices. Uh, his wakening hour was spent in weariness, his sleep full of terrors, his solitude as the solitude of the beasts of the field. Uh, then he was life in the crowd that he craved for most. No staying in a city was most hateful of all. Did his lone rural life slur through it was bring safety, no danger menacing with shameless insistence. Someone approached quietly and expected him. Uh, right. Um, and then, well, and, and after he uh, was tormented, after he suffered, uh, he had all his guilts, and then another group of soldiers arrested him, killed him, and threw him in a pit in the island of Andros. So that took place probably in early 41 or 42 AD. 
So Emperor Caligula got rid of, a, of a, one of the first Romans to do a program against the Jews. Not because he loved the Jews, but because Flaccus had conspired against him and his family. Right, so, so here we have the God of um, Abraham, Yitzhak and Jacob. Um, um, punishing um, anti, various anti-Semites like this Roman proconsul Valerius Flaccus. Yeah. Now, like we said, Emperor Caligula, um, Gaius Caligula, sent people to execute Valerius Flaccus in the island of Andros, not because he wanted to avenge the Jews for what had, Flaccus had done to them, but because Flaccus had conspired against the family. Of, of Galiwula. Now, when the persons appointed to execute it arrived at Andros, Flaccus happened to be passing from the country to the town, and the party from the harbour came forward to meet him. Uh, and when they were at some distance, they saw him, and they saw that, and he saw them, and thence inferred the purpose which was urging them on. For the soul of every man is highly prophetic, and particularly in distressing circumstances. He struck out from the road and raced away from them. Through the rough ground, forgetting perhaps that Andros is not the mainland, but an island, in which speed is no use since it's enclosed by the sea, for there are only two possible alternatives, to go on farther and fall into the sea, or to be caught in arriving at the very edge. Now, and surely if we compare two evils, it, was, it were better to perish on the land than in the sea, and since the nature has signed the land to men, and all the creatures that dwell on it as the most appropriate place, not only in their lifetime, but at their death. Now, I received them when they first came into existence. It should also receive them when they finally depart from life. The assassins never lost a moment in pursuing him. When they caught him, some of them at once dug at pits, while others violently dragged him along, resisting and screaming and struggling hard, the result of which was that as wild beasts do, he run upon the blows and had his whole body pierced with wounds. Uh, for as he clutched hold of his slaughterers and was so entangled in the scramble with them that they, they had no room to apply their swords directly but dealt their blows downwards and sidewards. He caused himself to suffer more severely and with hands, feet, head, breast and sides slashed and cut to bits, he lay carved like a sacrificial victim. Uh, for it was the will of justice that the butcheries which she wrought on this single body should be as numerous as the number of the Jews who he unlawfully put to death. Now the whole place was flooded with the blood which poured out like a fountain for the many veins which one after the other was severed, while as his corpse was dragged into the pits which he had dug and most of the parts fell asunder as the ligaments which bind the whole body together in one had been rent. Such was the fate of Flaccus also, who thereby became an indubitable proof that the help which God can give was not withdrawn from the nation of the Jews. So we see that the God of Abraham, um, Yitzhak and Jacob, are punished a great anti-Semite Roman uh, proconsul who did one of the, the earliest programs against them, against the Jews.